We are here at Motley's Comedy Club with Chris Coxon. And Chris, you're doing your final two shows in Boston, Friday and Saturday. How are you feeling about uh, the final two shows? I'm feeling, well, to, to steal a word from a good friend of mine, I'm feeling very jazzy about them. Um, yeah, this Friday, uh, February 11th, this Saturday, February 12th, um, down here at Motley's. I'm going to London in a week from now. This is being filmed on Wednesday, and I'm leaving on Wednesday. And they're great. We've done, done some great preparations. We have Nate Johnson, my old sketch partner, I still do a bunch of stuff with. He's going to be doing a lot of things here. Amazing guest comics. Uh, we have a couple of the Grown Up Noise guys are here that are going to be playing for Barry Tattle, who's hosting the show, Valentine's Day weekend. We're going to have a love theme. So, hmm. a few other elegant surprises. Usually during your shows, you are notably absent. It's like uh, a, a Superman, Ken Clark thing. Like I, I'm never around when Barry Tattles around. I don't know why this is. It's it's very strange the, the ways of the universe, I guess. Uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll get to see Barry this time. You know, uh, I'll get to see him on film. I think legally you can use Kent Clark since that's <laughs> yeah, exactly. since that or Clark your, Kent or your alter ego. Yeah, no, I, I'm always like I'm more alphabetical, you know. Uh, Clark Kent in my in my phone is listed as Kent Clark. So, mm. so are, are you going to make an appearance as yourself at all? Uh, I hope to in the end. Actually, I've I went through my house <laughs> and found a lot of old crap that I thought would be great to get rid of at a comedy show at the end. <laughs> so I'll try to have a stupid trivia thing where if you remember things that I quiz people on uh, in the show, you might pick up an old Comcast ruler uh, that has my name on it. It used to be some marketing swag, if you will. Uh -huh. So uh, you, you've said that, that you're going to London for at least a year. I think yes. most people kind of figure th that, that you're not coming back. I don't know. It depends. Like, I'll do a year. And you see, the thing about London, it's not a place uh, to be if you're poor. So if I can do a year there, and it doesn't look like things are going to be shaping up, then I will probably come back here. Um, but I was there last year for four months. It went very well. I have an agent this time around, so hopefully that will help me get to some uh, some paying gigs, which would be a novel concept for my lifestyle. What is it about the London scene that... that, that attracts you that, that your style of comedy fits um it's the lack of dental hygiene uh because <laughs> i look my teeth like my teeth are little they're like stonehenge <laughs> my teeth and like but that these teeth in 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 london are they look amazing no, it shows up well on camera if you want to you want to I, I know i look like i like like a california surfer like that perfect like Wrigley's chewing gum smile. Do you want to get in closer oh, and, and, no, and give the teeth so that the, the people want, people in England might be able to see this if they find? I don't want anyone to leave your blog uh, on account of my horrendous teeth. Uh. Um, but yeah, no, I, yeah, London is amazing. It's just it's like the greatest comedy scene in the world. Not that the acts are better over there, but the scene itself is awesome. And they seem to like my foolishness. It's a good place for character stuff, for weird stuff. Hmm. And like I said, I, I I have an agent that will work with me. I can't get that over here. Is there a lot more character comedy over there than there is here in, yes. in Boston or even oh, in the yeah. U.S.? Definitely more than Boston. Uh, probably, I don't know, compared to New York or L.A. Um, and it's funny. There's not as much character stuff over there as I would have thought, but more than here, I would say. And they, they just love it. Hmm. But it's funny, not everyone will just get up and do character work because they, A, they have very re a lot of reverence for comedy and they have a lot of reverence for character stuff. So if they're going to do it, they want to make sure it's done right, you know? Mm -hmm. I see you've already got some gigs lined up. I do. With yeah. some uh, uh, people who are also, it appears to be character comics, at least from their Facebook. Oh, yeah. No. And <laughs> yeah, some, of all, yeah, some people are, are like that in England. They're just naturally characters. And, uh, <laughs> You know, they can't help it. But yeah, I've got some good stuff lined up. Again, not a lot of pain work yet. I hope to change that. But um, it's nice, because this time going back there, people know who I am. They're more willing to put me on their shows. Hmm. And they're a little different over there. They're not as much into TV credits as they are over here. Mm -hmm. If they think you're good, or you send them a video clip and they like it, they'll put you on their show. Like, I've got on some highfalutin shows without any juicy TV credits. Hmm. So it's just kind of a refreshing. 
And this this weekend's uh, shows are hosted by Mr. Barry Tattle. Yeah. What does Barry Tattle mean to you? Oh my gosh, that's like asking me what 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 does a what does the a sunrise mean to me? You know, <laughs> it means the start of every day. You know, the same answer. Uh, it means new hope. You know, <laughs> something to look forward to. Uh, walks along the beach. That's what Barry Tattle means to me, and should mean to you. So yeah, no, he he's, he's great. He's the wind beneath my w wings, or as he would say, the tires beneath my moped. Mm. So. <laughs> and there's a Valentine's Day theme to the show, yeah. correct? Yeah, which is sort of silly. It's you know, it's like, oh, uh, this glass of milk is special because this week it's white. Well, it's always white. And with Barry, there's always a Valentine's love theme with every uh, step mm. of his stride. You know, mm. so. Is it bittersweet to be leaving Boston on a Valentine's Day show? It is. It is because I mean. It is for Barry, I should say, because I mean, he may get people to fall in love with him. I know he will, you know, and then he's going to have to leave with me. Mm -hmm. you know, where does that leave us? You know? How does he feel about going to Oh, he, he likes London, you know, he used to be part or still is part of the, of the Empire, the British Empire. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's a good moped scene in London, so that keeps him very interested. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, he's fine. Well, he's fine. we'll ask him a little bit later on and, and see if, if you're lying. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. No, no, he's, it's true. I think, I think he likes it. I shouldn't overstep my boundaries and talk for him, but yeah, I think he likes it. Any uh, uh, parting words you want to give to Boston in general? Uh, thank you for any of those uh, that are watching or care uh, about my comedic existence. Uh, this is the reason I do what I do. It's because Boston is the place. and They've been uh, a warm environment that breeded uh, or bred my foolishness. <laughs> so thank you very much. And come to the show so I can thank you in person you. in a very, as Barry would say, sensual manner. <laughs> Friday and Saturday, 8 o'clock at Motley's Comedy Club. And uh, the best uh, the best way to, to see the details for those shows or get tickets would be what? Oh, you, you can either go to chriscoxon.com, go to the schedule, <laughs> link up to Motley's, or just go to Motley's Comedy dot com and you can buy tickets online which I recommend because this place sells out mm. a lot so do it well, thank you very much thank you sir Mr. Tattle oh hello there how are you just looking for some Chardonnay all they have is Merlot it's <laughs> garbage what can I do for you hombre well, it's Nick Zeno from funnygrownhere.com you didn't need to tell me that handsome I just spoke with uh, Chris Coxon about this being your uh, this weekend being your last shows in Boston before you move to London. How do you feel about heading out to London? Well, you know, I follow this Chris guy. He manages me. He says, "Let's do London," and I don't want to do London. You know, they uh, I, you know they got some good Chardonnay factories over there, so I'm jazzed. I've mm -hmm. got a few uh, European princesses that I uh, well, you know, are tender with over there, so I'm jazzed. And what he doesn't know is that I might get my moped and sneak back to uh, America a few times because I like to get continental in America. <laughs> it is a continent, so there you go. How do you feel about being so far away from Bermuda? Well, uh, you know, a little bit on jazz. The, the, the weather in England is not the jazziest, but I got a few uh, indoor beaches that I'm going to work with, so everything will be perfect. And uh, Bermuda is only a phone call away. How about that, Omri? <laughs> When you were in London last, how did it treat you? It did. It, it treated me like a boy, like a 1975 bottle of romantic Chardonnay, which is to say, perfect, lovely, and sensual. Hmm. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting back. They like Barry Tattle, and I actually picked up this black velvet top from London. So how about that? Hmm. And this weekend shows that has a that will have a Valentine's Day theme. What do you have planned? For the lovers in the audience, I've got uh, I've got a whole lot of body <laughs> planned for uh, for the audience. Uh, but you know, I've I've got some uh, sultry songs. We got some musicians, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little skiddly do da do. You know, some of that, right? All right, mm -hmm. and uh, just a few other elegant surprises. I'm sure. So I'm I'm very, I'm very very jazzed about it. And who should come out to this show? Everybody should come out to this show. I don't care if you're an object. You should come to the show, damn it! Don't and, disappoint. And do you have any parting words for for Boston? Well, I got started here as a as a performer, as you will, or if you will, and uh, thank you.
so very much. You guys have been very jazzy. You're a great city to hit on, and I will hit on you in the future, Damon. Thank you very much. Thank you. God bless.